In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube API key. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start on Google. You can also click on the link down below in the description box, and that will give you take you directly to where we need to be. So um, just to start from Google, we're going to start from uh, Cloud Console. I'm going to click Cloud Console in here, and um, should be the very first one under the ad, which would be Google Cloud Console. Um, you can click on API Dashboard, and it's going to load up here. And it'll show Google Cloud Platform, APIs and Services. It'll, if this is the very first time that you're launching this, it's going to say Welcome. And we're going to go ahead and click Your Country. Agree to the Terms of Service. Click Agree and Continue. And then um, we don't need to click on this Activate button up here. Um, that's just a free trial of $300 credit to explore Google Cloud products. We don't need that credit in order to do what we're doing. So uh, you don't need to do that. So under uh, select a project here, here, here at the top in this blue bar, um, you want to click this little down arrow. And uh, you notice we don't have anything in here yet. So we're going to click on New Project in the top right-hand corner of this screen. So click New Project. And you want to go ahead and name your uh, project. Um, you can have, um, it looks like you can have 12 products. It used to be 17. It looks like they may have downgraded that to 12. So you can have up to 12 in a Google account. So um, I recommend if you are you doing this for multiple, if you're going to use your API key in multiple um, apps to make a separate API key for each separate app because you only get so much quota to use in a day. And if one app takes most of your quota more than the other app, then it's going to blow through that quota really quick and you won't have very much quota left for the other app. It could take your quota away and you, your other app won't work. So um, I recommend that you do um, create one of these for every app that you're going to use so that each app has its own different API key. So you want to give this project a name. This is just a project name uh, just for you. Um, I'm actually going to put demo. I'm going to put demo in mine. Um, now you also want to uh, name this the app. It's usually what I do is name this the app that uh, you're going to be using it in. That way, you can, if you need to go back to it later, check your quota or whatever, or make any changes to it, you can do that really quick because you'll know which API key is which. So location, uh, no organization. We don't have to do anything with that. And we'll just click on the Create button. And it's going to go ahead and create our project. Could take a second or two for this to create, so just give it a little bit of time. Okay, and as we see, it's about done here. So, created project demo. Okay, so we can close out of that. Can close out of this. And uh, as you can see here, next to the Google Cloud Platform in the top blue bar, here demo is listed and it demo is selected. So we want to make sure that demo is selected up here at the top before we do anything else or whatever you named it as. So what we're going to need to do now is we're going to need to go to library. So go ahead on the left hand side of the screen where you can see APIs and services. Click on library. And from here, this is where we're going to tell it that we need a YouTube API key. So we want to type in YouTube in this box, the search box, hit enter. And I'll just click, just hit got it here. And we're going to need to do YouTube Data API version 3, V3. So click that. And we want to enable it. So click on this Enable button, this blue Enable button. You don't need to try the API. Just click the Enable button. And just as the previous step did, it could take a second or two for it to go through. Okay, so now we have the API in. And what we're going to need to do now is give it our API key. So we want to go ahead over back over to the left hand side of the screen and click on credentials. Okay. And 
once we are in the credential screen, you want to click up here at the top where it says credentials. And then there's a plus sign that says create credentials. We want to go ahead and click that. Then we're going to need to click on an API key. It'll say creating API key. And this is your API key. So uh, you have the option to copy the API key as is right here. Uh, you can open up a notepad, uh, stick it in a notepad. Um, that way you'll have it. Uh, you can save it on your computer, or you can always come back to this whenever you need your API key. Uh, we don't need to restrict key. You have no uh, uh, reason to do that. Um, the only reason you would do that is to prevent unauthorized use and production, which I never do that, and you'll just hit close. You also have the option to uh, copy the API key straight from this screen right here uh, with this little button here, copy API key.